Hey guys, it's Lauren. Right off the bat, this is my editing Instagram and you should go follow it if you don't already. So if you're cognizant of literally anything that goes on in the editing community, even like the smallest thing, you're probably familiar with the her or the sun trend that has been going around recently. So the reason that you may have been seeing this trend literally everywhere is because a couple of weeks ago, I released my project file for the trend. Today I'm here because allegedly an app is using my edit as a template that other people can use use kind of like a project file except I guess this app is passing it off as their own and never contacted me about like using my transitions okay so this is just an example of one DM I've gotten but I've gotten like upwards of 20 30 messages about this ad basically they said some company is using your project file and claiming it is what is on their app so I'm pretty sure they're making money off of your project file and then they actually sent me a video of them seeing it on their for you page and I have actually seen it on my for you page several times. I even commented one time and said, I'm a sue y'all. Obviously don't mean that. My my legal team consists of just me. Hi. So the app is called Vito's Photo Music Video Editor. It's very, very long. And I was shocked to see how hard it was for me to find on the app store. I had to go into Safari, type out Vito's Photo Music Video Edit, blah, 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 until I eventually found it on Google. I was like, this is very much sketch. It had almost five stars. So I just want to see if they actually have my project file on there let's head on over to the app before we even get started do not judge the apps that i have there's a simple explanation for all of it um so let's get it cracking twenty dollars a year mm, no no oh free gift yay oh the free gift was an ad for paypal an app that i already have because everyone on this earth knows about paypal and i'm not gonna win 4k playing solitaire i'm gonna tell you that right now and i have to win another 15 seconds for it to end okay what should i do in the meantime um i think i'm gonna go solve world hunger maybe take a little trip to dominican republic go see my family um there's also like a rocket about to head to mars so i might catch that might not and I still have a couple seconds to spare. So here's the interface. Their explore page is called For You, but with a capital U instead of the word you. All of these look very different stylistic wise. Oh look, there's like 3D. This is this lacks any sort of cohesion at all. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Why is this not that bad? Listen, you add some motion blur and magic bullet looks, you're telling me this wouldn't look fantastic. Okay, before we even start looking for the Her or the Sun template, I'm gonna try this out just to see how like fast it would be to do it. So make video. I just won $75. Como se dice a d g a f. Goodbye. I just choose photos, okay. I'm gonna use photos of the lovely Sabrina Carpenter. She's gorgeous, she's everything. I actually have met her four times, fun fact, and I've been to five concerts, okay. Oh, what the, that took not even a second. Took maybe 0.8 eighth of a second if I had to guess. It's not bad, like you got the 3D, you got the cubage going on, you got that little circle moment. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save this to my camera roll and then I'm gonna put it into After Effects and I'm gonna add motion blur and a coloring, maybe some borders, maybe a watermark. And I wanna see if this can actually look like an After Effects edit. Cause like, I feel like it has potential. I mean, it's creative. Like the transitions are basically on par with what you would see on After Effects. So maybe all it needs is a little bit of a, you know, RSMB or something like that. Let's move the watermark to the bottom left. Okay, and I'm just gonna save it. Boy, what the hell, free credit score. Even when I'm saving the edit, they're trying to push this in my face. It's propaganda. So as promised, I popped this edit into After Effects and I can definitely see an improvement. It's a lot smoother because I added RSMB and a coloring, but I want to know, would this pass as an After Effects edit to you? Let's keep looking for my template. If they're using my edit for the ad, like you would think it'd be the very first one up there, but I'm not seeing anything. What did they do to this poor man? Anyway, let's try out new, because the project file is very new, very relevant. <laughs> no, I see nothing. This is kind of cool. Oh my god, this is so bananas core. Amelie, if you're watching this, I meant that in the nicest way possible. I love and adore you so much, and you are so talented. Um, What is Tom Holland doing on here? Because someone needs to explain this to me. You got Tom Holland, you got Instagram model one, Instagram model two, white girl 17, Charlie. Honestly, some of these do look kind of cool. Like, look at this right here. 
You're telling me you wouldn't see this on After Effects, the diamond, the time slice, the circle moment. Granted, there's not a single ounce of motion blur. I definitely see that. I do want to try this one out. I'm, I'm boundlessly curious. That's the great thing about me. So bear with me. I'm just going to use the same pictures again because she is gorgeous and I don't know who else to use. Thank you. Oh, that one took maybe 0.9 seconds. I mean, listen, it's not bad, but if someone were to post this on TikTok specifically, I would know what the comments would say before even opening them. Oh my god, Vinkle core. Is this Vinko? What, what in the Vinkle is this? Okay, so again, I popped this bad boy into After Effects, and this is the one that scares me, because it looks like it was literally made on After Effects, Video Star, or a Light Motion, and you cannot tell me otherwise. It's insane. Again, I'm not seeing my precious creation, um, the one I spent so much time on. By that, I mean 25 minutes. I mean, I'm seeing other, like, cool stuff, like, oh wow, why was that masking good? But I'm not seeing the reason- <laughs> Just kidding, it's this finger. But if I get another ad, it's lights out. Wait, what? I feel like, no. I feel like these transitions are too creative to have been made by whoever is manufacturing this app. I feel like some of these edits were definitely made by like real people. And then this app just decided to like take those transitions, make it into their own template and give absolutely no credits to the original owner. Like if you've ever made an edit that looks like this, comment down below, we're gonna get some justice for you. But there's absolutely no way that all of these templates were made by not even the same person, but the same group of people. I'm seeing some envelopeism going on. I kind of dig that, right? Cause I like the 3D envelope moment. I could get away with posting this and being like, this took me two weeks. So y'all better comment, y'all better hype me up. But I'm gonna use this template and see if like, there's any sort of adjustments I can make. Maybe like keyframes, maybe masking, like literally anything that goes beyond this template. So tap to edit. Oh, okay, they're giving us something, okay. I don't see any sort of animation feature, but we can still explore. So blend. Oh, they're like different. Oh, okay. I mean, this could be cool. This actually looks pretty nice. I mean, the masking is like perfect, which again, not trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. They still took my idea and made it an ad. Okay, let's see what else. Filter. Okay, so like different colorings. I kind of, yeah, I'll keep this one. Stroke. <gasps> I can do a little stroke line. You're telling me. You're telling me this wouldn't be someone's edit thumbnail? I see 10 thumbnails like this every single day. You can like change the size, whoa. All right, I'm gonna do this for the rest of the pictures to see if I can get like a cute theme going on. It already masked this picture for me, which I didn't ask for, but thank you anyway. Um, so I'll go to blend. Maybe we'll do these hearts, okay. Give it to them. Filter, maybe we'll do some simple. Okay. It's given Lana Del Rey album cover art. Don't come for me for that. I literally love all of Lana's music so much. Let's add a stroke, of course. I'll do this stroke for a change. I'll change the color to like a nice little tan, little nude moment. Oh, this one works really well. It's like giving Twilight Forest. I keep inserting Twilight into my YouTube videos. I try to make it subtle. It's not working. I just really love Twilight. Where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> Ooh, that's so... I mean, it's definitely there. We'll go for this first stroke. Perfect, you can't even see her face. Jellyfish core, oh, we love that. I love how I got rid of the ice cream. They were like, nope, not today. Okay, stroke. Where did half of my filters go? I know, it still looks cool. I mean, like, all I see here is potential and some really bad masking, but also potential. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm persistent and I need to find my infamous, ooh, Among Us edit. What would you guys do if Emo Who From Whoville posted this edit? I mean, I just might start using my powers for bad, make everyone's edit look like this. Convince people that this looks good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's nothing in this category, so I'm just gonna keep looking at the rest until I can find something, something that slightly resembles is my beloved her the sun so effect no Ooh, what is this wow i i want to try this out guys don't hate me don't hate me oh i'll do this picture because she is holding like polaroids which is kind of similar to the cards whoa i'm scared oh look it, it, it didn't look as cool because the cards just like came from nowhere cartoon nothing's gonna be in here i mean there's a cuboid gotta give them some, some credit for the boyd guys i'm disappointed i wanted to have a bootleg version of my edit so bad no. When avocados are bae. That's so relatable. I've never eaten an avocado. I wouldn't know. So yeah, this is very much like indie, like some woman with a pyramid scheme on Instagram would use one of these templates to promote like a green juice that we all know doesn't work. 
no one is buying it, and yet McKaylee Rose Lynn convinces us that it saved her life. Oddly specific, but those are the vibes that I'm getting. Last category, this is, this is our last bit of hope to see if I'm on here, film. Don't think I'm on here. Like, do you think anyone downloaded this app thinking, wow, I wanna remake this edit that I saw in the ad and they downloaded it and were disappointed? All I can really say about this app is that it's the standard template fast editing. But I do think this app in particular is just a little bit sketchy because all of these templates are in such different styles that they could potentially be stealing from hundreds of people. This is some good marketing because now they're gonna have promotion for their app through this YouTube video. Video, all because they tricked me and many other people into thinking that they had my edit on their app. I essentially am just a pawn in their game, a puppet on a string, if you will. Vito's one, Lauren zero. Y'all got me good. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you know of any other editing applications that you would like to see me try, just comment it down below and I'll think about it. All right, have a good day or night wherever you are and bye.